Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and today we're going to take a look at just a little micro RC helicopter. This is the Horizon Hobby Blade 70S. It is highly recommended, even though we're sitting outside, that you fly this indoors in a nice open space. Maybe a gym that you have permission to fly at or something as you learn. There are sometimes uh, indoor flying locations that you can go to. Uh, so be sure to check your local area before you just open this up in the little bathroom or something at your house if you're a first time flyer. Now it has a lot of technology packed into a little guy because it has a safe technology, meaning this is going to be very, very beginner friendly at a beginner friendly price. We'll have it linked in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. But let's take a closer look at what comes in the box and then we'll fly for you. Very unlike yesterday's micro helicopter that we featured, this is a fly bar less, meaning there is no fly bar, and it only has what you see on top here, the single blade. Okay, that's all you need with something that has the nice technology built into this. And remember the tail on the one yesterday was mounted vertically, and it just provided forward and reverse movement. This one is actually mounted uh, the way a real helicopter would be on its side and provides stabilization and yaw control. So that's how we'll control the helicopter as its, its rotation. Its main blade is driven with a brushed motor that is uh, geared. The really nice thing is that it's ready to fly and it has the safe technology making it easier to fly for a beginner. We also have dual rates meaning we can fly fast or slow and the battery mounts right under here this little guy just comes off we do actually have some carbon fiber in the tail a lot of this is plastic there's a little velcro strip here for our battery your battery is a 150 milliamp lipo single cell battery with a little velcro strip already installed right on the front of the helicopter there what we want to do is turn our transmitter on first and press and hold just hold that for a few seconds and then we plug our battery in and that's nice that it's marked black and red there's a little dot there to show yeah, you yeah i do like that a lot mm -hmm. black wire on that side red wire on that side just let it sit there for a second and uh unlike the little helicopter yesterday uh, it was an infrared controlled helicopter this is 2.4 gigahertz meaning you can fly many of these together and you can also fly this outdoors. Although I only recommend flying this outdoors if you have basically no wind and have a little bit of experience. You can hear the safe, hear the technology. safe technology working, trying to keep it stable as I put this canopy on. It also comes with two spare blades, a very nice instruction manual that I left open to the exploded view in case you do wreck this and need to replace anything and the transmitter right here very nice little transmitter you can see as i give it input if you can get a close shot of that abby the blade moves just moves a bit right now mm -hmm. we can put that in a higher rate two beeps moves a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So before the wind picks up, let's fly this. We do have a slight breeze right now, and then we'll fly it inside where it's meant to be flown. When the helicopter's all powered on and bound, and the throttle stick is all the way down, you push it to the bottom right corner and hold it for three seconds. Then you have the ability to power on the motor. So let's go ahead and fly. I am in the low rates right now, but because we're flying in a light breeze, Hit that little rate button and you get two beeps letting you know you're in the high rate. And now we're able to just fly around and learn how to fly a helicopter. That's what this is designed to do is just help the beginner get familiar with controls. And these are actually the same controls as pretty much all drones on the market too. Uh, your throttle's on the left side as mode two would be. Mode 2 and Mode 1 are just basically separated by country for the most part. And here in America we fly Mode 2. So throttles on the left, your yaw control, that spinning that I'm doing, that is also on the left. If I push it right, the, uh, the left stick, if I push it right, I'm spinning to the right. If I push it left, I spin to the left. 
So that's how you do yaw control. And the flight is, you know, you push, push the right stick forward, and the helicopter goes forward for whichever way it is facing. So if you're a new pilot, I recommend facing the helicopter away from you while you fly and push forward to go forward, pull back on the right stick to come back, go left on the, on the right stick to go left, and right on the right stick to go right. Then, <laughs> once you get those controls down and you're comfortable with it, you can start practicing yaw or spinning and flying around doing nice little maneuvers like this and just kind of banking. Try to make it look like a real helicopter, maybe like a Huey in World War II, I'm trying to lose Abby. He did. He yeah, was successful. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But this helicopter is actually primarily designed to fly inside. So let's finish up the video with an inside flight. Now that we're inside, you guys may be able to see the little blinking light on the front of the helicopter, the front right side. When we push the throttle stick down to the right, it blinks fast, letting us know we have control of the helicopter now. Remember, if you let it sit idle for about, what, 10 seconds, I think it was? Yeah the throttle will lock again. So you have to unlock it for safety's sake. That way you don't bump it and spin the blades again. Are you gonna take on the fan of doom? Take it on? Yeah. Just fly under it? No, fly between it. Oh, no, I, no there's <laughs> not even, I don't think I can hold it up there. That would be cool no, though. No. That would be cool. <laughs> I like this helicopter. You know how you were pressuring me about doing loops and stuff? <laughs> um, I don't want to wreck I it. Think... I like it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, are you going to do it? <laughs> You're <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> just see how close I could fly. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. See, once you get about an inch away from the ceiling, it kind of sucks it up to the ceiling, even if you don't give it more throttle. So, oh no, I couldn't. <laughs> I think it's really awesome. <laughs> Alright, well I'm back in the low rate guys because I'm inside and I, I well I could do the high rate. So the reason they recommend this for indoor flying mainly is just the size, right? The size, yeah, because really this can't handle much wind. I mean, yeah, I was flying it out in the breeze, just fine. But this is designed for beginners, first time helicopter pilots here. The price is good, 60 bucks. You know, you're only gonna spend 60 bucks, you're not gonna break the bank. You have safe technology, which helps you stay auto-leveled, even without like a GPS. And fly bar. And no fly bar. <laughs> which is way better. Way better. It looks more realistic, because it has the one set of blades instead of two on that coaxial one we did yesterday. And no fly bar, so it just looks a lot better. And controls like a helicopter should control. I am gonna go, I feel more comfortable flying this inside in rate one. So it's capable of flying outside, but the, the weight of this too, once you get a breeze going, it really becomes more of a challenge to control it in the wind. Rather and, than an enjoyment to fly. Yeah, and beginners aren't really gonna be able to, uh, to enjoy that. So it's, that's why they're calling this a micro ultralight indoor helicopter. I like this a lot. The flight time is really good. It's a healthy flight time for something this small, just 150 uh, milliamp battery, and that's pretty small. And it's a common connector, so Very you common. can easily find extra batteries Yes, for it. but if you prefer, you can buy the Horizon Hobby batteries for this. That's the good thing about Horizon Hobby. They're a huge, well-established company that have spare part availability for pretty much all their products, and batteries and chargers and that's, that's what you're paying for, the quality that you're paying for. I just wanted to get a nice little hover. I, I just like watching this fly. It looks cool. Looks like a real helicopter. Now I could do a nice challenge like land on that magazine there. <laughs> that's easy. Oh. And you just didn't. You bounced under, off the under table. Under the fan makes it difficult. There. I'm, I'm mostly on it. I'm mostly on it. <laughs> I would say if you could land on the salt or pepper shaker, then Ooh. I'd be impressed. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. Okay. See, that's what's fun. Once you start to feel confident in this, you start making challenges. Oh, but what? No, it's bad luck if I spill the salt. I can't do it. Well, then do the pepper. Pepper? No, oh, it's. Oh, okay. My battery's low. My green light is blinking. So. I'm One like shot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. oh, you spilled the pepper. Yeah. It's not bad luck to spill pepper. <laughs> now, I still have a little bit of battery. 
See, I still have juice. I could fly this a bit more, but I think that I want to take a minute to explain the battery here with you guys too, because we're going to have a lot of first time flyers with this. And uh, when we have a low battery indicator, like the green blinking light there, that tells us, hey, I'm letting you know a little early, your battery's low and it's time to land. Uh, that way you have enough juice to have a controlled landing. Uh, and not only just so you have a controlled landing and not a crash, but you want to land uh, early enough to save your battery before it gets too low. A lot of people are going to want to push that battery until it just won't fly anymore and then charge it. You can do that if you want to, but you're only going to maybe get a hundred uses out of your battery and then you're going to start complaining, oh the flight time is only a minute and I used to get five, six, seven minutes of flight time out of this. Uh, well, if you would have landed when the green light started to blink and the LiPo was at about 20% juice left, 30% maybe, that's going to preserve the life of your battery and you're probably going to get more like hundreds, if not maybe a thousand uses out of a single battery. So just a little uh, awareness there with the use of your battery. Guys, I like this a lot. It's uh, very easy to fly. I like helicopters. I've always been a little bit intimidated with helicopters. I even see the pros. We've got a local pro here. He'll come out and he'll fly and do the crazy flips and stuff that just blows my mind. And I think that there's no way I could ever do that. Maybe someday I could, but even he crashes and when they crash, you know, they explode. explode. Something like this, you can bounce into walls and hit the grass and just throttle down when you do and it's going to hold out really well. So uh, durability is awesome, it's very beginner friendly, I like this a lot. Before we go, we want to invite you guys to join us in Muncie, Indiana on August 26th. It's a Sunday. We're going to go to an AMA airfield. We're From not exactly to four. sure. Sorry? From 12 to 4. From 12 to 4. Now, we're not exactly sure which lot we'll be on, but I'm sure you'll be able to uh, find us. We'll probably have RC Sailor shirts and hats on and stuff. Uh, but if you'd like to, uh, it's about you know five hours away from where we live, so it's kind of getting a bit closer to people uh, west. West. So you know uh, sometimes it's difficult to make the drive really far away for events that we've hosted. But now we're giving you guys a chance if you'd like to meet us there. If you're local, please stop by. It's, it'll be for Nate's 30th birthday yeah, I'm the turning, weekend. Yeah, turning 30 and uh, uh, September 1st is my actual So we're making a trip. Birthday, so we're doing this and hanging out with friends and just enjoying the hobby. That's what I want to do for my birthday. Just make some good memories. So we'd like to meet you if we've never met you before. If we have, please join us. We'd love to have you. And uh, anything and everything that you need to know about this, we'll try to do spare batteries and everything. We'll link that in the description box below. If you guys, if, you, if you're looking for a first helicopter, this is a really good one because it just flies really well, has safe technology, spare part availability. Two thumbs up, hands down. Two thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. People always make fun of me when you say that. <laughs> hands down. Two thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah.